Could you give your grandma a hand and take this for me? What is it? Christmas presents for you and Rosie. Could you put them under the tree for me, please? Sure. Oh, wait, Caillou. I almost forgot. I have a present for Gilbert, too. What a lovely Christmas tree. I picked it myself, and Rosie helped me decorate it. Well, you did a magnificent job. It looks even better with presents under it. Grandma! Hi, sweetie. Grandma's gonna stay with you, Caillou, while we go out shopping. Yay! Rosie, too! Whoa, Gilbert! Here, let me help you with that. What do you say we make an extra large batch of Christmas cookies? and share them with my friends at the retirement home. I know all about sharing, Grandma. Great, then let's get started. At Christmas time, the family's near. Our hearts are filled with Yuletide cheer. We share our gifts, but the best part, we share the feelings in our heart. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care for others, too. Let's share our gifts with everyone. The young, the old, cause sharing's fun. Share the things that we hold dear with friends and family far and near. We share our joy. We share a toy. We share a tickle. We share a, we share a pickle. We share a hug. We, uh, we share we share a bug. We share our time. We share a rhyme. We share our cookies. <laughs> yes, we share our cookies. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care for others, too. A time to care for others, too. Look, Grandma. I made a snowman! This is fun! I'll add some raisins. Good idea! Wow! They're perfect! I think this batch is ready for the oven. Hello, everyone! Merry Christmas! Everyone was very happy to see Grandma and Caillou again. Cookie? I baked them myself. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, Caillou. You're welcome. Caillou was very proud of his cookies, and he was happy that everyone liked them. Thank you, young man. Don't mind if I do. And what are you asking Santa for this year? A space station. Ah, excellent choice. And excellent cookies. These are wonderful, Caillou. Now that you're here sharing your cookies with me, my Christmas just got a whole lot better. Spending the afternoon with Grandma's friends was like having a whole bunch of Grandmas and Grandpas to play with. Grandma and Caillou decided to play a game of Go Fish while waiting for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie to come home. Hmm. Do you have a tree? Go Fish! A tree! I get another turn! Do you have a dog? Yay! I'll get it! Woof! 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 <laughs> Come back, Gilbert! It's not a real dog! That was Sarah's mom. Did Sarah give you an invitation to her school play? Oops! I forgot! Here it is. It's tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So, did you have fun with Grandma today? Uh-huh. I even won at Go Fish. Good for you. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three. A Christmas stocking. Just like mine. And Santa's going to fill it with candy. Right, Daddy? 
<laughs> I'm sure he will. But do you know how that tradition started? Boys and girls all over the world used to leave something for Santa in their shoes. In France, children place their shoes by the fireplace. And in Holland, where Santa Claus is called Sinterklaas, children leave hay and a carrot in their shoes for Sinterklaas's horse to eat. In Hungary, children shine their shoes before putting them near a windowsill. In Italy, there is a woman called La Befana who arrives at Christmas time like Santa Claus. And children leave food for her in their shoes outside their front door. And in Puerto Rico, children put vegetables under their beds for the camels of the three kings. I'm going to leave something for Santa too, Daddy, but I won't put it in my shoes, okay? Okay, Caillou. Sweet dreams. And Caillou had very sweet dreams. Sarah's Christmas play is today. Can we go, Mommy? Please, please, please. I don't see why not. What time does it start? Grandma said at 3 o'clock. Fine. But there's something really important to do first. What? The Christmas lights outside. So you'd better get dressed and come and help me. Grandpa's coming over to help, too. Caillou couldn't wait to help Daddy and Grandpa with the lights. He felt like a very big boy. Hello. Here's your extra pair of hands. Right on time. Grandpa! Are you ready to set up some lights, Caillou? We need lots and lots of lights. Meanwhile, Rosie was busy, too. She was making sure her presents were ready for Christmas. Caillou, Daddy, Mommy, Gilbert. <coughs> no, Gilbert. Present supplies. <coughs> Good job, Caillou. It looks great. That about does it. Caillou was very proud of having done such a great job. He couldn't wait to see the lights all lit up. Good job, you two. Caillou, we have to get going. Sarah's play starts soon, and we don't want to be late. But when Caillou and his family arrived at the school, there was no one else in the audience. I think we're early. It's exactly three. Not according to the school clock. It says two. Maybe you should ask Santa for a new watch. All right, everybody. Let's begin the rehearsal. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sad because Christmas is coming and... Where's Jimmy? Jimmy, that's your cue to come on stage. He's thick, Miss Johnson. Oh, dear. Well, then, we need to find someone to replace him. Why don't you ask Caillou? He's right over there. Hello, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Would you like to be in our play? That sounds like a lot of fun, Caillou. Caillou was nervous. Why don't you come on stage and give it a try? Sarah will be with you the whole time. Caillou, when I say I'm sad because Christmas is coming, you say, and there is no snow. Exactly. And you say it nice and loud. Okay. Go ahead, Sarah. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. And there's no snow. Very good, Caillou. Could you say it a little louder this time so your mommy and daddy can hear you? And there's no snow. That was great, Caillou. Excellent! Caillou was happy he had said his line right. He was very proud. And then you and Sarah go off stage. And at the end of the play, you come back on stage with Sarah again. Then Sarah says... Hooray! It's snowing! And Caillou, you say, it's Christmas time! Nice and loud with a big smile, okay? Want to try it? It's Christmas time! You're a natural, Caillou. Caillou liked being in Sarah's play. He felt all grown up. When the play was about to start, Caillou was feeling nervous again. 
Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. You'll do fine. Ready? Say all your lines nice and loud, everybody. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. We have a last minute replacement this afternoon. Let's have a big round of applause for Caillou. But when Caillou heard his name, it made him even more nervous. Sarah, I forget what to say. You say, and there is no snow. Oh yeah, come on, we have to go on stage now. Now? Yes, come on, you can do it. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. Caillou, and there is no snow. And there is... Louder. And there is no snow. You did great. Thanks. Where is all the snow this year? Yes, where? Santa needs snow for his sleigh. Go ask... Uh, Old Man Winter. Old Man Winter. Okay, I will go. Old Man Winter, Santa needs snow. Okay, I'll huff and puff and make it snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes, here comes the snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes for winter's big show. Snowflakes were snowflakes were fluttering down. Snowflakes were snowflakes down to the ground. Now I can bring my presents. Hooray, it's snowing. It's Christmas time. Only two windows left, Daddy. That means tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Wow, Christmas is really, really soon. It looks like Christmas dinner, Daddy. It is. Many people around the world celebrate Christmas with a special Christmas meal. In Spain, they eat besugo, which is fish. And in Norway, they eat roast goose. And there's cheese pancakes in Austria. And plum pudding in England. And in France, on Christmas Eve, which is called Réveillon, they have a special cake called a bouche de Noël, which is filled with chestnut cream. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? I'm hungry. <laughs> Daddy, Gilbert, today is Christmas Eve. Santa's coming tonight. Come on, we have lots to do. Good morning, Caillou. Morning. Um, <laughs> Caillou, cookies for breakfast? They're not for me, Mommy. <laughs> Santa's coming tonight. I'm going to leave him some cookies. Is Santa coming down the chimney? Like he always does. Then we should clean out the fireplace. I don't want Santa to get dirty. Good thinking, Caillou. <laughs> oh, that must be Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma, Grandpa, Santa's coming tonight. Yes, he is. But only when you'll be sound asleep, right? And the best way to go to sleep is on a full tummy. So I guess we better get cooking if we're having turkey tonight. And apple pie. Right, Grandma? Absolutely. Are you going to be my little helper again? Yes. It was a busy scene in the kitchen with preparations for Christmas Eve dinner going on everywhere. Okay, Caillou. I need help making the turkey stuffing. Now, here's a spoon. Now, mix it all up. Well, the pie's ready to bake. And so is the turkey. Stuffing's ready, too. Yay! You finally found your toothbrush. No, I still can't figure out where the other one disappeared to. Same place my slippers did, I guess. Let me help you, sweetheart. Why do we have to get dressed up? Grandma and Grandpa come over all the time. Because it's Christmas Eve dinner, silly. It's a special night. There, 
Now you look perfect. <laughs> the meal was wonderful. Caillou was so full, he thought his tummy would burst. I bet you've never seen anyone do the famous thumb trick before. Dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Grandpa's famous missing thumb trick. Abra, Cadabra. Wow. <laughs> How'd you do that, Grandpa? A magician isn't supposed to reveal his tricks. Oh, I have a joke. Go for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Isidore. Isidore who? Is a doorbell ringing, Grandpa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Caillou. And now for my famous Christmas apple pie. Even better than Grandpa's famous turkey stuffing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yay! What do you say we go outside and see how our lights look, Caillou? Yes. Ready, Caillou? Ready. Okay, here goes. Yay! Wow! Oh, I'm gonna wait up all night to see Santa. But Santa won't come if you're awake. Ah! Do you want to see what's behind the big Christmas Eve window? Yeah! yeah! was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. No, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Sweet dreams, Caillou. Caillou was excited to see all the presents, and he noticed that Santa had eaten all his cookies. Presents! Mommy, Mommy! Santa ate all my cookies! I see! Can I give my presents first? Please? Please? All right, your presents first. Here, Mommy. Here, Daddy. Thank you, sweetheart. When did you make these? It was a surprise. I made them at Leo's house. And the wrapping is so beautiful. Open it. Oh, what a beautiful picture. It's you, Mommy. And is this a picture of me? Yes. Thank you. It's wonderful. And this is for you, Rosie. Rosie Pussy. Snowman! Do you like it? Yeah! I think Santa brought this one for you. Wow! A space station! 
station. Just what I wanted. Now, Rosie presents. How nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Well, look at this. You're missing slippers. Oops. And your electric toothbrush. Here, Here you go. go. Okay, you present. Rexy! There you are! You weren't lost at all! Now I get it. Rosie wanted to give us presents we love. Yeah! Can you love Rexy? You two did a very good job at keeping your presents a surprise. <laughs> and I think Rosie just started our very own family tradition. Caillou learned a lot about traditions from all the calendar stories, right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I learned about the first Christmas tree and where Christmas cards came from. And St. Nick. He taught us that giving and sharing are important, right? Right. Gilbert, no! What is it, Rosie? Gilbert present. Merry Christmas, Gilbert. Here, Daddy, it's from Santa. <laughs> Just what I needed. It's Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our family's together. We need to share our love and say that we all care. We want to feel that love is in the Christmas air. The love that's in our hearts Yay! will stay with you and me. And now our family's here around the Christmas tree. <laughs> it's Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our 